Hello. This is a video on uh, the construction of uh, the ferrocell light boxes that I make. Uh, people were asking about uh, the type of LEDs. Well, here's a, here's a sort of a close-up on the LEDs. And, and this one particularly has a, a fair amount of LEDs in there. It's one, eight, one LED per quarter inch. Uh, this particular one. You know, they're, they're, they're relatively, you know, LEDs you'd use in things like store fixtures or whatever. They're very easy to use. Um, so basically, what I do, and this is not a very good example, but I sort of screwed up the, the design on this because I, I was trying to get, you know, the uh, the closest uh, diameter that would give me a uh, complete LED ring as opposed to having any gaps. And there's two options and I figured I'd go for the bigger option, but you know, it works. But it's, uh, maybe I should have gone for the, the smaller diameter option. Anyways, I like to go about 5 eighths of an inch down. Let me take the uh, saw out of here. Take five eighths of an eight, five five eighths of an inch down. See, these are the regular ones I use. This is uh, LEDs, which um, these are all 12 volt LEDs. This one's more like an LED every um, ooh, looks like three quarters of an inch or something like that. I'm just guessing. But uh, they, they, they look basically like that. So uh, on this particular uh, square ferrocell, I uh, have four strips which are connected by uh, little short wires. And it's a good thing to try to align them as close as possible. I didn't quite align them perfectly, so the field looks a little bit unbalanced. Anyways, so I put these little uh, pieces in here just to get the right depth and to hold the, the LEDs up. The LEDs have a, uh, a sticky tape backing, but it's, it's not all that thick. It's pretty cheap. These things are made in China and... and uh, this is this is uh, an LED strip here with the backing. That's the backing. So you just peel the backing off and uh, attach the strip. But the, the the tape on the back is not that thick. I mean, it's good tape, but they they're using really thin tape. They're using uh, like uh, a 3M high bond type tape, but it's they're really going cheap on it. Um, so in this case, I just I just threw the legs on in this sort of spiral pattern on the side. This works fine. On this one, I uh, I bent the legs out so that I, I I do that so that when I take pictures you don't get any legs in the way. There's no reflections off the legs. Even this one, it's not too bad. But this, this one's a superior uh, version, putting the legs out, up, bent out like that. I could do the same thing for this. I just I was just, you know, playing around. So anyways, basically that's how I make these things. I mean, I have a shelf here that holds the, uh, the ferro cell. I have, it's basically a box. I basically put the uh, lights about 5 eighths of an inch down and 5 eighths of an inch back from the ferro cell. And that's basically about it. So, um, happy ferro cell making. See you later.